right guys let's get into our pixel app so i'll be using pixel app pro so i'm going to delete everything on screen give my background a white color and then let's go to the bezel tool right so this is the tool when you click on the bezel tool you are going to see two points linked by a line all right so there are so many buttons here and we're, i'm going to explain them one by one so this set i'll explain this later when we start the exercise this is to help you move between your sketches different sketches if you design if you do more than one sketch all right so i'm going to start with the bezel mode so this first mode right here when you open your bezel tool this mode is going to be active going to be highlighted so the job of this mode is to help you add points so when you touch anywhere on your screen you'll be adding points to the already existing points all right so when i touch anywhere on my screen i'll be adding extra points so i'm kind of like sketching something with this tool all right so the next bezel mode job is to help you move your points and control your points when you highlight it you're going to be able to move your points you're going to be able to control your points with these control handles as well or move your points the next bezel mode is going to help you to move your entire object or shape that you've created up here we have the zoom button and the grids for alignment all right so let's go to the action buttons so i'm going to go to i'll put it to this bezel mode to move points now the first action button so the action buttons the first action buttons job is to reduce points all right so when i click on it my points will be reduced from the most previously added point they'll be reduced all right so when i click on the next button the job is to link your points so let me add some points by going here add a point so go to my control and now this next second action button's job is to link your points together to form a shape that's his job so when you click it you see the option to break your point will come up all right so when you click on this one you can unlink it so only when you click this one you're going to see this one so the next action button is for you to zoom your work and the next action button is to rotate your sketch this job is for rotation all right so this action button's job is for rotation then we have the stroke to add the stroke width you have uh, that's all for the stroke then we have opacity of the stroke and you have the option to choose your stroke color that's up to you all right now let's get into an exercise so we've gone through the buttons except this ones so i want us to try an exercise so i'll be able to explain this one all right so let's get to it so i'm going to upload I'm going to upload uh, a sketch in my pixel app. And I'm going to open it up. Can even decide to crop it if I want. So this is what we're going to try to design with the bezel tool. So let's get to it. Now I'm going to lock this sketch so that I don't disturb it by uh, mistake when I'm working. So, right. Let's start by, Bezier 2 is active. Let's start by adding points. Let's start by moving points, sorry. So I'm going to control the Bezier mode for controlling points. And I'll position my points where I want them. I'll zoom in for precision. So how the zoom button work? When you click on the zoom button, you get to zoom in or zoom out 
when you get to the point that you want if this is how you want it to be you click on it again click on this plus sign and it's going to stand there so you can walk all right now i'm going to move my point like this so we want to start with this one first so now i'll be adding points so i'm going to go to this bezel mode and i'll be touching my screen following the sketch okay so i'll touch here at a point there at a point here at a point there and i'll go back to my control the mode to control point to control my points always remember to zoom in to make your work very easy for you when you zoom in all right So we're going to position it like this. We're not trying to really do this perfect because it's going to take us time. So the next point is here. All right. So when you're done with arranging your points, next thing is to go and add more points because we need a point here, a point here. So I'll go to my bezel mode to add points, touch my screen here, touch my screen here. I go to the control and I work with my mode, my bezel tool. All right, so oh, I just pulled it, fix it back. All right, so we're kind of done with this. So what we're going to do now is to link these two points together by clicking on our action button to link points. And then we're going to control it to make sure it sits properly. All right, so that's not bad. Okay, so we're done. We're done with this part of the sketch. So I'm going to zoom out and hold it there. We're done with that. So for us to start another, let's say we want to design this or this, you're going to come to these buttons here. So you click on this plus sign to start a new job. Okay. So when we have a new job, we'll be able to move between the works we've done with the busy mode with these buttons. And this one is for you to duplicate any of the sketch. Like if I click on it now, I'll make a duplicate of what I've just done. Okay. And this one is for you to delete one of your sketches. So I'm just going to click on it and I'll delete that. I'll be left with one. So I'll click on this plus sign and start a new Bizzle job.
okay I'll start a job new job will be there too so i'm going to go to my control and i position my arrows where i want them to be all right the next thing is you go to your mode to add point and then you touch the part of your screen that you need the point to be at the point there and then i can just link it now i'm going to zoom in to work on this spot properly all right So here we go. So we're done with that. So you repeat the process for the other two designs. So I'm going to make this one pretty fast. So I'll just click on this plus sign and I sketch. So I'll click on my plus sign and I sketch for this. When I'm done, I click on my plus sign again and I sketch for this one. So let's get it. Now I want to add more points. I want to add one more point. So I'm going to click on my mode to add point. I want to click on this mode. And then I touch my screen to the position. I link the points at once. Then I go back to my control. My control mode. So that I can correct, do my sketch properly. So I'm done with that. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay guys, so I want to add, I want to add, I want to just link up the points. Okay guys, so I'm going to link the points. So with just two points, we, could, we can achieve this. We don't need much. Just two points. And we're done. Well, this wasn't meant to be perfect. I just want to show you guys how this tool works. All right, now you've seen here. All right, guys, we've seen here that we have uh, four. We've done four sketches. All right, so to move between your sketches, you want to move between them. To move, go to like from your third to first sketch. You just click with these arrows to go back because this is the the fourth, the last one. So when I click here, I move to the third, move to the second, and I move to the first. So in case I have any editing there to do, I just move to the one that I want to and then I can start editing. Same thing if I go here, I go to the second, third, fourth and then I edit.
knowing that the control mode is actually what is on. Alright, now we do everything so everything you can actually take it out. the sketch so we'll be left with our logo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge the shape done with the bezel tool and the circle so I'm going to merge the two of them so they can become one and there we go we have our bird logo so the last thing to do is to save it into your phone. You have a good quality. And we save it to our gallery. Okay guys, so that's all for the tutorial. So thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, subscribe for more. Like this video. Share if you have people that are interested in graphic designs with your smartphone. See you guys later.